The trials have begun. Let's hope our heroes are up to the task this month on d d Minus. step through the gate and find yourself in a kitchen. In front of you is a stove with a bubbling vat of a shiny black potion, and next to that vat are two hourglasses, one slightly larger than the other. An illusion of a bitch appears in front of you. Adventurers, welcome to your first trial, a test of your wits. In front of you is a potion of luck. Well, if you brew it right, it is. I might have peed into that. Is that does that matter? Uh, well, then you're going to hate this next part. As you may <laughs> know, a potion of luck must be brewed for exactly 15 minutes to the second. Heat it for a second longer or a second shorter, and the effects can be drastic. Luckily for you, we've provided these hourglass timers, but alas, all I could find was one that measures 11 minutes and another that measures 7 minutes. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Your task is to brew the potion and for one of you to drink the results. Good luck. And then he disappears. So, how long do we need to brew it for again? 15 minutes. All right. So 11 minus 7 is 4 plus 4 plus 11 is 15. So we right. got that. Y yeah. <laughs> but but how do we... So Oh, okay. So yeah. So we don't start brewing until we've gotten the 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Yep. Sure. Good call. Or, okay. Yep. All right. So we do that. <laughs> Walk the audience through it there, fucking rain man. <laughs> <laughs> we start both of them at the same time. After seven minutes is over, we have four minutes remaining yeah. on the 11 minute clock. Exactly. We yeah. stop that, turn it sideways until we have the brew started. We run that for the remaining four minutes, then flip it back over. It's an 11 minute timer. That gives us the 15. Oh, and as you do... <laughs> Wait, should I roll for intelligence or something? Investigation? No, 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 no. I, that was if you didn't. You don't have to roll for a priori math that was <laughs> done. Like, yeah, I was gonna say Heath. Heath beat me to it. So, <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want, you can roll for intelligence, and you might not do that. <laughs> He's just dunking the hourglass into the vat. I got this. Trust me, this is gonna go great. <laughs> Peeing everywhere. <laughs> So that is exactly the solution to your first trial. It turns a beautiful gold. Which of you is going to drink it? Oh, I'm going to drink it. I can drink it. Have at it. Oh, all right. All right. I'm doing a little ha, psych myself up and then I just down it in one. All right. Punch yourself in the face a couple times. <laughs> exactly. I get, I, I'm guessing with her history of brewing, she's used to, like, she's she's had some bad batches yeah. now and again. She's used yeah. to down. <laughs> Bridget, it is delicious. It tastes oh. like a 120 degree soy chai latte <laughs> with oh, no water. Viscous. Oh, God. <laughs> and why, no foam. Uh, You'd send uh, it back at 120 does, because that's above why child's does it temperature. It tastes a little bit like, like, like foot. <laughs> it's funny because I'm the only other person here who's like, that sounds delicious. Thank you, <laughs> Morgan. Take an inspiration point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted, I, by the way, I want to point out, and you might want to cut this from the thing because I, I bought you the thing. This is the first time I've logged in since I bought you the thing for the thing. And this website <laughs> loves me so much now. <laughs> it's just like, it's it's like, hey, man, you want some inspiration points? You want to, <laughs> you know, like, we won't tell anybody. We just will. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. Points. They're just covering yeah. your screen and. Yeah, gems and gold, little little hearts and shit all over the place. All the eyes are dotted with little hearts now. It's yeah. weird. Hey, I'm not cutting this. Our listeners should know that as <laughs> the, when this show greatly increases in quality over the next few episodes, <laughs> it's because Noah bought me all the Dungeons and Dragons for Christmas. 
All right. I'm going to chase because you said it tasted like chai latte. I'm going to chase <laughs> it with my own water flask. All right. Which, fantastic. As we all know, it's always filled with all right. You were going to get bonuses, but water undoes the luck potion. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's okay. So, it was it was not water in her flask. So, so. Bridget, Aye. you will get advantage on all your attack rolls until sunrise. Oh, dope. Oh, sounds like there's going to be a lot of attack rolls before sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a fucking fight before it gets light out. <laughs> Quick, start punching the walls. <laughs> all right, now. Wait, could we all could we all just do the same timer thing and all have a luck potion or no? No, just one of you drinks it. That's the task. The task is you brew the potion and then one of you drinks it. Yeah, no, right. We'll, but we'll, but, like right I was going to say we we can show up forty five minutes later to the next task. <laughs> <laughs> exactly forty five. <laughs> no, just one. No, just the one. Just the one All person. Right, no, no. Oh Fair no, enough. actually no. So it would take the additional twenty one minutes because every time we'd have to reset the four, and that would take seven. Sorry. See, so, yeah, there you go. It would, yeah, it would take too long. Yeah. That's why. All right. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> that. So Noah, Keith, Anna, and Morgan, for this next puzzle. There is a real-time element. At a certain moment that will become obvious, you will no longer be able to ask me, the Dungeon Master, any questions. You will only be able to tell me what actions your characters take. Oh, fuck. All right. What would this mean, like, practically in the universe, that we can't just, like, say stuff vaguely to <laughs> God? <laughs> Well, it means that you can't stop and be like, no, wait, I want to do a perception check or no, I want to do an investigation check or this, that, or the other kind of thing. All right. I want to do a perception and investigation check as soon as we walk in this room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, wait, I'm also holding a perception and investigation check. Okay. Well. You're holding an action of an investigation I'm, check. I'm holding it until we walk into the room. All right. Yeah. The next room you enter is almost entirely bare. At the far end of the room is a clock with 20 at the top, and the numbers going around, instead of being 1 through 12, are 20 all the way down to 1. In the center of the room is a large red button. Everybody, roll your investigation and your perception checks for me. Oops. All right, that is... I got a 2. Uh, I got a 15, like and then help. I got a... For, that was for investigation. And then for my perception check, I got a, a, an unnatural Fuck. 20. I got a two and a two. Are you serious? <laughs> Dave, <laughs> you see a tripwire right in front of you <laughs> that leads to flame gouts in the walls. <laughs> I rolled a, uh, a six plus five on my investigation and a 10 plus one on my, uh, what was the other one? Perception. Uh, perception. Perception. Yeah. I got 12 on investigation, two on persuasion or perception. Okay. So you, uh, Morgan, Claw, you also see the tripwire and the fire there, but <laughs> but you perceive it, but not investigate it. So you and Dave can dance around wires that aren't hold there. Hold on, hold on. I have passive 11s for both of those. So I actually have <laughs> 11s, not twos. <laughs> yeah. But you rolled them on the check. So, you know, you did worse than your natural state for some reason. Bridget, because of your <laughs> unnatural 20, I will tell you this. The clock that's on the far side of the room runs an on an electric circuit. And because of your lightning magic, you can tell that it leads to something large and alive. As the door closes behind you, the clock starts and begins to count down. 20, 19, 18. I press the 17. red button. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn. I jump on Dave's back as he does it just to ride piggyback. <laughs> The clock resets itself and the golden 20 lights up again. 20, 19. Press it again. 18. The <laughs> clock resets and. That's attached to something living. Wait, what again. does the rest of the room look like? Oh, so the room you enter is almost entirely bare. At the far end of the room is a clock with a 20 at the Press top. Press it again. Press it again. 20. 19, There's, I guess, nothing 18, else. So we're 17. just going to say that he keeps pressing it so that we can talk stuff through, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So you will, I'll just go in the background. I'll assume you're pressing it every couple of seconds. Yeah. Okay. I press huh. it at like one just to be like super. <laughs> and did I? Dramatic. Is there anything? Is uh, what's his name? The the bitch here. Nope. Bitch face. Nope. Brian. Nope. All right. Never mind. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing, guys. I feel like our choices are to continue to hit that button for all of eternity 14. 
13. Or let it run 12. out to 12. 11. To, to 10, or just 20. let it run down to nothing. Guys, don't worry. I got it. I'm going to do or it. That, or trip the wire. All right. So wait. How about this? Is the there... What wire? Um, <laughs> it, the, um, the clock itself... It. Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> so the clock itself, does it have like a hand that's counting this down? And if so, could I reach in and just like touch that hand and keep it from con continuing to count down? You can try. Make and I mean, it's a little bit up on the wall. So. All right. So can I ask one of the taller people? Yeah, yeah. You can get on my, on my shoulders. Don't we have a bird? Yeah. yeah, we got a bird, but he can't fly. He's it's, oh, I can fly. I'm a dragon. No, you can't. No. It's a mechanical clock. It doesn't stop naturally when you hold it. Do you want to try and strength stop it? What do y'all think? I, I don't think that's probably what we were intended 60, to do. 50. No, I don't 14, know what we were intended to do. There's literally 12, nothing else in this room. 11, um, can I make okay, another investment? Okay. Nine. Eight, Is there seven, considering six, it was a 20? Five, four, three. <laughs> pressing the button. Oh. 20, <laughs> 19, 18. I thought right. you were telling me to press it. Just consider that standing next background. to it. How'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought. Yeah, we Dave were already considering that. You, you were... <laughs> um, so uh, there's, there's nothing else at all about this room. Not that you can that's see. That's interesting. No. Okay, fuck. Not that we can see. All right. Um, nothing interesting like, all right. All right. So what I think we should do is I think. I thought, I, and I'm I'm coming out of my accent in the middle of that. I, Five, I think we should all four. roll for initiative, and if it's not very good, we should press the button and roll again for initiative. <laughs> all right, I love that. I actually really, really love that. Yes. All right. Five, four. Mine is bad. I'm it. trying again. Twenty. Right, trying it again. again. Press it again. Mine was 19, bad too. Pressed it. Eighteen. 17. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, I got a 17. Pressed it again. I, I have a 17 Rolling. plus three. Oh, don't. I got an 18. 18 16. Plus, plus two. Stop. Pressed okay, it again. Now. Let's go All now. Right. Nine. So se 17 plus four. It. Yeah. 14. All right. I got a three. <laughs> Pressed it. <laughs> <laughs> what if we, oh, right. this feels like, remember in Lost, this feels like a four, eight, 15, 16 situation with the oh, thing. The hatch. Christ. Yeah. Just let it go. Let's just let it go and see what happens. I don't, I, don't think that's a good your, idea. Hold a spell. Hold a spell for it. Five, four. Pressed it. It was three, scary. I 20. had to. <laughs> <laughs> 19, 18. I panicked. 17. I mean, there's 16, no numbers for us to find here. So. 14. Yeah. 13, I mean, I'm going to do another investigation check. 11, see if there's anything else. You already right. made your investigation check. You can't make another one. I can you do can't. another one, though. No, no you, you can't. can't keep doing that. Oh, I can't. Yeah, because then, do then all D&D &D would just be, it's like, I investigated again. And again, yeah. and again, <laughs> and again. All right. Does it say you can't Ooh, do it anywhere? I'm going to do yes. a history check. Wait, Dave. Oh, oh no, not Dave. Uh, Snedrick. Yes. Do a history oh, check. Not me. Okay. Snedrick, do a history check because you've been to the school. You might have heard something 11, about it. Yep. 10. I got a four plus uh, well, five. Me, so nine. Right? <laughs> you heard there's a tripwire in here. <laughs> Eight, I remember seven, there was a rumor about a tripwire. <laughs> five. So. Four. That's I'm gonna press it again. To something 20, living. I press 19, it. 18, 17. There's I'm, literally you know nothing All else right. we can do other than let that button run down. All right, up. I'm going to cast Fog Cloud on the button just to make sure that you guys don't see it anymore. I'm we'll standing next to it. I'm just going to keep pressing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a long <laughs> rest. <laughs> 16. 15. We could cast darkness, and then whatever happens, we could try and escape. We wouldn't be able to see. That'd be great. I mean, no, I we would. all have dark vision, don't we? No, uh, not not Dave. Apparently, well, it's that's why. Press <laughs> 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 that Yeah, fine, hey actually. Eli, you can't give Heath the ability to <laughs> unilaterally. We'll do a minor illusion, and somebody's hand will make the form of a button, and we'll just lead Heath. Yeah, right. Door, there you go. The oh, I think I might have that. One second. Yeah, I've got minor illusion. I think yeah? Do. I Shit. think I do. No, I don't. Do I still have minor illusion? I think I do. Yeah. 11, 10, 9, 8. Just let it go. 7, 6. Dave? Five, Dave, I hear this bread four, over in the corner. Three. Pressed it. Free two, sheet cake. What bread? 20. <laughs> 19, there's, there's sheet cake over 18, in the border, corner. Go find it. 17. Will you just bring 16, it over to me? No, 15, go ahead or find it. 14. What kind of 13, bread is it? Oh, I heard it was really good bread. Dang. Pressing bread. it, running to the corner, running back, <laughs> pressing it. Oh, shit. 20. 19. 
This is pretty good 18, bread. Okay, thank you. 17. <laughs> there six. wasn't any bread. My <laughs> God, Heath is like what the, are you eating? Heath is the D&D equivalent of the guy who just got to ask a question at the conference. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not so much a question as a statement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should stop pressing this button. <laughs> It's so clearly going to get down to zero and so, some shit's going to happen. If it's attached to something that's living, does someone have to stay here and just keep pressing Four, it for, for eternity, three, do you think? Two, one. Press it. Dave, as you press the button for the last time, the 20 doesn't light up again. In fact, the wall directly in front of you slides <laughs> gently open, <laughs> leading you all into the next room. <laughs> we had to press it 20 times. See? <laughs> you welcome everybody right. some shit was gonna happen if we didn't do that you step through the gateway and find yourself in a large gymnasium weights litter the floor and walls there's a boxing ring mats pads and something you don't recognize although Bridget you have felt it at the far end of the room is a large tank filled with crackling blue lightning attached oh. to what appears to be a huge deflated human shaped balloon the illusion of a bitch reappears next to it and says, Ah, uh, yes. I wondered how that would go. You see, that last room was a test of patience. And well, you failed. And the mirrors behind him suddenly flash with the image of Dave pushing the button over and over and over again. And each time he pushes the button, the numbers that he pushed it on flash on the mirror behind him. 18, 18, 4, 16, 2, 1, 20, 17, 15, 11, 10. And each time the number flashes, blue lightning flashes out through the tank to the human-shaped balloon. Eli, did you keep track of those numbers or did you just make them up? <laughs> oh, I fucking kept track of those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And each time the number flashes, lightning flashes down to the human-shaped balloon, which grows inside with each flash of a number until finally it dislodges itself at its full, swollen, massive size. And you are faced with a towering, fully magically empowered... Flesh Golem. Everybody, roll initiative. All right, how about this, Dave? <laughs> hey, everybody, just jumping in for a second to thank you so much again for listening to the show. Hey, if you're liking the show, why not tell a friend about the show? Or give us one of those sweet, sweet iTunes reviews I've heard so much about. Tweet about the show. All that kind of stuff helps. And if you love the show, why not sign up to support us on Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash DND minus. In addition to a commercial free version of every single show, you'll also get our two behind the scenes Dungeon Masters corners that I've done, as well as our mini game, The Worst and the Dimmest. And uh, we may have a second episode of that bad boy coming out soon. So uh, never been a better time to sign up to be a patron. Not to mention, I'm just going to throw this out there. Our Dungeon Master level patrons, they just contributed some really cool stuff that's going to show up in the adventure awfully soon. So get ready to be excited about that kind of stuff. All right. So all that stuff, check us out. Patreon.com, D&D Minus. Give us a good review on iTunes. Tell your friends. And now back to the show. I got a fiver. I got a fucking 19 plus three. Excellent. Nice. I also got a 19 plus three. And I got a nine plus she's four. She's stealing my shit. Eli. Eli, she's making oh, wait, shit. no, it's plus one. So he goes first. I was looking at my mo other model. All card. right. So the order is Snedrick. You are up first. All right. I am going to. Oh, God. I want to say hand things over to Dave. But. Um... <laughs> All right, a flesh go. <laughs> so how how big is this thing? It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Thank um, you, Eli. That's so helpful. <laughs> <laughs> it's thing. equal to all those numbers added up as units. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it is. is very helpful. Well done. Well it's done. A, Thank you. It's a big, healthy boy. Uh, it's about six and a half feet tall. Think Frankenstein monster. So it's That's much taller than six and a half feet tall. 
I was just say six and a half feet is just like a little bit more than Heath. It's like a roided out Heath. <laughs> it's Joe Rogan. Okay. It's Joe. I want you to picture Joe Rogan. Is Joe, Isn't Joe he Rogan's short? Is he tall? Yeah. Joe Rogan's no, like he's, five, he's short. Joe Rogan has a face. I want you to picture the weird lumpiness of Joe Rogan on Heath's on height. Heath. He's five seven. <laughs> he's a little guy. I'm taller. You're really than fucking him. this up. Okay. Well, also <laughs> more, fun fact: Did you know like, that Frankenstein's monster eight feet tall, according to yeah, the we, book? Let's do that. We'll say eight feet and t- and. Why, hey, let's go with five seven, man, dude. Come on, you've got <laughs> you have a chance to get a Morgan sized flesh golem here. You know? A lot of people say I look like Jason Statham. If you want to make a comparison, <laughs> so oh, he's much taller than me. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, I am going to use my poison spray on him. Absolutely, roll. <laughs> So I'm going to hand things over to Heath. I, <laughs> <laughs> three. Three. I rolled a three. Uh, three. Yes, that will miss. Yeah, that's not going to do much. That will miss. All that's right. farting. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Bridget. Uh, okay. So does it look like I might be able to puncture it if I use a crossbow? This is a great question. Thank you. And like let the magic out? Make a... Investigation check for me. Is that going to be my turn? No, absolutely not. All right. Investigation. Okay. That is a 10. That's a 10. Yep. If you hit this thing with a crossbow bolt, it'll go <laughs> fly all around the room and be dead. You know what? I That's going to be baller. I'm going to do it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do it. Go. Oh, that 20. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Roll that Sweet. damage for me. Uh, that's going to be six. Six damage. Well done. He doesn't go. <laughs> he does not go <laughs> and go flying all over the place. No. Oh, man. I bet there's no damn tripwires in here either. <laughs> <laughs> what tripwires are you guys talking about? I haven't seen one. In yet. fact, Bridget, I will tell you this. The crossbow goes in and it looks like you would do damage, but for some reason... You don't. I okay. So it really is just flesh and magic. What does it look like when the arrow hits? What do you mean by it doesn't do damage? We don't see a meter. It doesn't on the guy's, reel like, back in pain. It doesn't. Right. Uh, it's a zombie. Does it go into the flesh at all? Absolutely sinks into the flesh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if nothing else, we can climb him later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice. Claw, you're up next. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do Fist of the... Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do Fist of the Elements. Oh, I was really hoping that that was like a fisting him in the ass. Like the to fist, <laughs> fist of the O was just the name of the thing you were going to do. I mean, I could accomplish that and it would be then a lightning fist in the ass. So that'd be interesting. I was thinking about it because I have Mage Hand. I feel like if nothing else, that would distract him. We should get... <laughs> <laughs> we should get initiative. Like, if I just one finger, I should be able to. Uh... We're usually very bad at distracting, but yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to do uh, Fist of the Elements, and I'm going to do an unarmed strike. Do it. Uh, and then I get a bonus strike as well, right? Uh, yes, you do. All right. First one was a 10. That'll hit. Uh, okay. And the second one was a 13. That'll also hit. Okay. Roll the damage without the lightning, and I'll explain why in a moment. Okay. And that'd be four. Uh, three mm-hmm. plus four and two plus four. All right. So that is 13. Too slow. Too slow. Self conscious. Uh, so you do your 13 damage and your, your fist sinks in and it reels back in pain and sort of roars with it but the lightning that usually would crackle out from your hands and do extra damage just intermingles with the electricity that makes up this thing's life force and you can see it doesn't do any damage oh shite that's so, a Pokemon yeah we're talking immunities then right mm. yeah okay okay Okay, switching up my plan. Dave, you're up next. Okay. So I can move somewhere and then do a spell? Yes, you can. So I can like run. So I'm going to run back into the original room where the button is. 
as I'm running, I'm going to step on the button to see what happens just in case that does something. And then I'm going to cast a spell. I love it. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm not even going to make you do a check for it. You run in, you push the button. I, okay. Here's the thing. Mean DM would heal the creature by 20 <laughs> points right now. But you gave this thing so much life that I had to stop counting. So I'm just going to say nothing happens when you push the button. <laughs> what spell do you cast? <laughs> I'm going to go with... Oh, do you guys think like a spell would even do anything? Because he... So an arrow didn't do anything and a spell didn't do it. Or no, wait. It's been two physical strikes well, a lightning spell didn't do anything. We uh, we could try other elements. Okay. Yeah, lightning didn't do anything, and um, a, and an a arrow. Bolt. Yeah, and an arrow mm -hmm. didn't do anything. So, which is probably piercing, right? So, I mean, he's lightning, maybe water or ice of some Ooh. sort. Ooh, my I was gonna say fire weapon. for the flesh, maybe. Okay. What do you guys think? Fire is fire the move? I think fire is the move. Okay. I've got fire breath. Yeah. I think you have acid breath. I have breath weapon red, which is fire. I think. Are, do you have a fire breath? I thought you had acid. Yeah, I have a I have breath weapon red, which is damage type fire. Why did I think you were an acid? Because you're not actually omniscient. <laughs> well, that that's definitely true. Thank you for hurting me. Uh but yeah, go ahead and use your uh use your breath weapon. Okay. Uh you can use your action to exhale destructive energy. Your draconic ancestry determines the size, shape, and damage of the exhalation. Um, what does that mean? So if you were a, like a green dragonborn, it would be an acid, but I guess you're a red dragonborn, which means that it's fire. So yeah, you breathe fire. Really quickly, before he does that, can I hold like a torch up in the breath uh, direction so that it lights a torch <laughs> as he does it? No, you can't. Or, right. or, <laughs> okay. or your, okay. or your uh, the, the crossbow. Uh, yeah, you uh, can, Bridget, yeah. Can, Bridget can hold the crossbow <laughs> yeah. out that way. You can prepare I that need action. A, I need fire to be the weakness because I have fire. I don't have <laughs> oh, acid. Oh, sweet. Okay. okay. So. Are any of you guys right next to this thing? Because I think there's like a saving throw in a, in, a, in the next I room. am. I'm literally, I like punched it. Yeah. Are you cool doing a saving throw? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. So when I use the breath weapon, each creature in the area of the exhalation must make a saving throw, the type of which is determined by my draconic ancestry. Okay, you have to make a red saving throw, everybody. The DC, what is that? Uh, that's the save. So Morgan's got to roll a 12, and it's dexterity saving throw. On a d20? Yeah. Creature takes 2d6 damage on a failed save and half as much damage on a successful one. Damage increases to 3 Three D six doesn't matter. I'm not at any of these levels or minus one from any of these levels that they're about to describe. <laughs> After I use my breath weapon, you can't use it again until you complete a, a shorter long rest. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna use it because we're gonna try fire. Fantastic. What what do I roll? Uh, you don't roll anything. The golem did not avoid your fire, so you blast this thing with fire right in the oh, yeah. face. How'd you do, Claw? Eleven plus four. Oh, you make it. Yeah. So Claw. Nice. Back flips out of the way. Dave, roll 2d6 for me. That's just like a normal die two times. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. Six. Five. Get out of here. Eleven. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing, Dave. You don't do 11 damage. This creature Yay. reels back in horror as it's consumed in flames. <laughs> Backs away from you. And you do 22 points. Of direct Yahtzee. fire damage. Weird that he noticed that. Mm -hmm. It's weird that he could see how many damage points he had done to it. Yes. So this creature is now obviously very upset with Dave. So it is now going to attack you, Dave. I'm so far away. Yeah, he's like in the other room. <laughs> he is. No, yeah. he's 15 means, feet away. No, I'm... Yeah, you would have to be 15 feet you away. That's how far away, away it is, man. <laughs> that room is exactly 15 feet away yep, next to the button, button to where that guy is. is what has been determined, apparently. <laughs> so it, hey, man, and in your turn, you got him minus two hit points. So that's pretty good, though, all, all together, <laughs> all around. He runs at you, arms flailing. <laughs> now... I will tell you, just mechanically speaking, because of this creature's aversion to fire, he does now have disadvantage on his attack rolls and ability checks until the until the end of his next turn. Yeah. So he's also super dumb because he runs at the source of the fire that he's terrified. <laughs> he of. Hey, he's a flesh golem. 
He's yeah. the opposite of Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that first one is a 12. That's my armor class, so he misses. That will hit you. Nope. Yes. It's a tie. It's a tie. tie. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to hit you. And then... Uh, He's zero, zero, and one. <laughs> hold on. I have a plus one. Nope. <laughs> and then he... <laughs> He hits you twice in a row. So he is going to do uh, 18 points of damage and then 15 points of damage to you, Dave. Cool. So I'm dead. You're not dead. <laughs> it's dead. okay. I have, just literally, I have literally no, no fire things. So I will just heal you. All right. But if I could just... If I could just paint a picture here, Dave majestically fills his body with ancient draconic fire, sends a blast out towards this creature, which reels <laughs> back in horrific pain. Everyone pauses in awe as they watch Dave, the true dragonborn, melt this enemy before him. And then it runs over and goes, boo, boo, and knocks him down. <laughs> <laughs> Dave probably hit the button on the way and, down. And too. I feel like, <laughs> I was just saying, I feel like we all looked at him at that in that very moment with a sort of like, yeah, he kind of had that coming. Look <laughs> <laughs> all right, Snedrick, you were up next. All right. I have Agonazar's Scorcher. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah. A line of roaring flame 30 feet long and five feet wide emanates from you in the direction that you choose. Each creature in that line must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d8 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. And because the thing had to run over to where Dave was and because Dave is knocked unconscious, he would be the only one in the line. Yeah. And Dave is on the ground, so I won't make Dave roll a dexterity throw for well, the fire. I, I was going to say, I'll throw, well, like, I'll, I'll like leap to the ground and breathe upwards or, yeah, exactly. or shoot upwards. I am not literally about to, to like, yeah, it's fine. What is, yeah, yeah, what's the fine. save there? Uh, 13. 13. Yeah, he is not going to do that. So yeah, you blast him. Do uh, roll that 3d8 for me. Seven. Six. Eight. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Okay, mm. I, I, I legit just rolled seven, six, That's eight. 42 damage. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Is that 42? Yeah. Doubled, because it doubles. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, because I was like, <laughs> how is that 42? Because <laughs> uh, You guys can't do the mean math That's like the universe and everything, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Again, scorching flames roil up the back of this creature, and huge swath of its flesh come melting down its back as it roars in pain from the damage you've done it. Okay, I have to point out to you guys how important that moment was for me because, like, I'm in front of my old college girlfriend and all of this shit. And the, my, like, my first move was just to kind of fart out some poison in the wrong direction and kind of, like, everybody was like, was that a spell or a flatulence? And now I got to, and so that was right after the fucking dragonborn gets knocked out. My little tiny ass leaps out there like, I got you, dude. So I'm just, that was a Boom. very important 42 moment. fire damage found the clit in everybody's face <laughs> <laughs> the fire clit the fire clit <laughs> oh fire clit merch coming up next all right bridget <laughs> absolutely okay you're up all right question answer my spiritual weapon do it doesn't actually do any elemental damage but it is a watery sort of thing like it Water comes out of the barrel. Let me take people. a look. I believe that's Just magic slave. damage. Oh, is it magic damage? I, I, I believe your spiritual weapon does magic damage, not... um. Uh, let, let me double check that because I could be wrong. I'm going to double check that too. You're not going to heal Heath? Oh, absolutely. This is just a bonus action. Force oh, okay. Yeah, your, your target takes force damage. Okay. Well, we're going to try it. I'm, honestly, don't bother. Like, I'm, I haven't helped... So maybe me <laughs> being unconscious is a plus. Everything no. I do kind of fucks it up. You're, you have fire spells. We need fire spells. Yeah, I was going to say the 22 damage was nice, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to run over and, like, poke him with my foot. Kind of, like, half half kick him with my foot. Dave, to, like, to spare right, the buddy? dying. No, to spare the dying. I don't cast spare the dying on him. Just it's, like Is that a eh. bonus action or a Uh that's my action and then my bonus action is I'm I'm summoning spiritual weapon. That's a bonus action? 
Yeah, motherfucker. What? No way. Yeah, one yep. bonus action. Fuck yeah. yeah. God, what a what an OP. Uh, All right. Hey, can you attack with it this turn? Um, let me find out. That means overpowered, I just realized, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I know stuff. Yeah. When I cast the spell, I can make a, a make his attack against a creature. Absolutely. Within five feet of the weapon. Wait. So I'm going to do it. I mean, obviously, I'm going to make it appear right over his head. So so you light you you kick Dave gently. You nudge him with your foot. A single oh, it's spark not gently. A single spark of electricity goes into his heart and starts it beating again. And then you summon your not terribly accurate keg. Yeah, a keg. That's a keg. Do just enough CPR and then you're like, yeah, that's fine. That's He's fine. Good. <laughs> so I'm just like laying there at like <laughs> barely. You have to wait quite. until next turn for me to actually heal you because yeah. those are actions. Roll that. Uh, roll that attack for me. All right, I will do so. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah, just five. Five, five damage. damage. <laughs> five. Da- so this keg oh, gently pours a little bit of foamy liquid on this flaming flesh golem, and it's like. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, no, it's eight damage now. Eight damage. All right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do three more damage. Still, it's a drizzle. It's a, it's a drizzle, but it's a drizzle. That drizzle actually causes a tremendous amount of the scorched flesh to slough off of this thing's body. And now it's half skeleton, half flesh golem. It's, it's looking rough. All right. All right. Claw, you are up next. Uh, so I have... Two questions. Uh, Bridget, how Do many... Do you want to steal some of his skin? Is that <laughs> what your question is? I have an idea. <laughs> mm. uh, how many spare the dines do you have? It's a canned rip. I can do it as many times as I want. Great. Okay. I have a weird... But I have You're going to dive in and fight your way out, aren't you, man? <laughs> no, it's... it's That would actually be much better. <laughs> but no, mine, it's actually not that complicated. It, is it possible to grapple him and then use <laughs> patient defense... So that dodge is my bonus action. So I'm I'm essentially trying to tie him up so that like the fire guys can just go like you know ape shit on him and then get ready to dodge the fire that might come. That yeah, because I'll have dodge as my. But I don't know if you can grapple and have dodge kind of like concurrently active. I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, then I'm oh, just gonna grapple. No, him. you know what? If you use a key point, you can take the dodge action as a bonus action on your turn, and you want to hold that action. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Okay. So then I'm going to I'm going to grapple him and I'm going to use that key point to set up patient defense so that I can dodge if he attacks. Well, can the is the dodge for spells that they cast as well as his attacks or just his attacks? Dodge will be advantage on any saving throws. Okay, got it. You make. <laughs> okay, I'm just curious how tall are you, Claw? Uh, that's a good question Am I my own height. <laughs> oh, I don't know how tall Aracokras are. How tall is an Aarakocra? Because uh, in my head, it's like a two foot tall bird trying to do like jujitsu <laughs> on a Frankenstein's monster that's on fire. Oh, I, I always gonna... assumed he was significantly taller than me. I thought he was like at least yeah, Morgan. I thought, I thought he was a he was a fighter in a fighting ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah the gladiator. Was like gladiator. He was like six yeah. footer. I figured I I pictured you as like a really small, scrappy, like you know, oh, like a okay. chicken. Yeah, like I, a, like I a pictured chicken. you like as a chicken. chicken. I was picturing like a chicken. chicken. <laughs> yeah, I was seeing a chicken this whole time. I would be happy with either. <laughs> well, roll a d20 for me, uh, okay. Morgan. Roll for height. Venerable, venerable oh. ancestor is the uh, the T Rex. <laughs> uh, six. Yeah, he rolled a twenty three. So you jump on the back of this flesh golem, <laughs> and he just picks you up off his back and goes like, <laughs> Adrian, and then throws you. <laughs> <laughs> against the mirrors, you slam into the wall. So, does that mean I didn't use the key point? Oh, you absolutely used the key point. Okay, okay. I'll and work. have taken the dodge action. I don't like that this thing had an idea that Rocky physically abused Adrian <laughs> in those movies. But it is nice to know which half of his face sloughed off, though. Yeah, Dave, you are alive, but still at zero hit points. So you Can lie on the ground. From here? Nope, you cannot. You are. Unconscious. I, 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 magi- I would like to do magic stone thing where I make the little pebbles. <laughs> no. Nope. Sadly, bonus when, action. You're, when you're unconscious, you don't even get a bonus action. I'm going to roll for consciousness. <laughs> I'm just barely conscious. <laughs> you know what, Dave? You know what? I'm a kind and benevolent DM. You make three magic stones in your pants. <laughs> bonus action. All right. 
Flesh Golem is light up him, next. Light him on fire. I've got magic rocks in my pants. This thing is very hurt. It is going to go berserk. And it's going to attack the nearest creature it can see, which is Bridget. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I tried. That's okay. It's going to slam at you with disadvantage. So that's a 10. That does not hit. And another 10. That does not hit. So this thing is blind with rage and just sort of whoa, whoa, throws both of its arms in Bridget's direction, but does not hit her. And Snedrick, you're up. This would be a creature with an intelligence score of four or less, correct? This would be a creature with, uh, no, actually not less than four. All right, so I could cast hideous laughter on it <laughs> and make it crack up. No, I, I okay. Ooh. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try my poison spray again. All right. Roll that d20. I just wanted to hear what it sounds like when Eli laughs. Right. <laughs> that was, that was that um, Hideously. I, once again, that's just going to be some flatulence. That was a four <laughs> plus five, so nine. <laughs> All right. Bridget, you are up. Ooh, do I heal him or do I actually do some damage? I mean, Seriously, we're real close on here. this guy. You know? no, Super heal, duper, leave me here and him. figure it out after. Spells. No, oh, fire he's spells. Got, he does have fire spells. Yeah. I just have that one thing. It's not a spell even. It's an action. Oh, wait. And he well, can't actually... Wait, he can't use it again until after a long rest. Oh, you're so, right. You're I'm right. not um, resting right I, now? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Fine resting. <laughs> oh, I do have... I have a Scorching Ray, which is also fire damage. Oh, yeah. You should help. You should, you All should right. heal him. Uh, fine. I'll cure him. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I will uh, cast... Oh, wait, has he... the? No, nah, he's just attacked you at this point. Nobody else has gotten hurt? Nobody else. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick him again and cast Cure Wounds on him. I just want to be clear. Do you have to kick me each time, or is that is that part of the spell, or is it just, like, for fun? <laughs> no, I don't have to kick you every okay. time. I just want to. Are you casting that at first or second level? A uh, second level. Second level. All right. That is... Would there uh, be a reason to cast it at a lower level? <laughs> if you didn't need more healing. slots. The... You, you, you're cured for 14. 14. Lightning crackles through Dave as 14 points of healing appear in his existence. Claw, you're up. Claw again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run around in front and smack it in the face with my quarterstaff and try and get its attention this way. Do it. I don't think I'm going to do any damage. That's okay. Ugh. Two plus six. So you actually miss this flesh goal, this giant flesh goal. You run around and you're like, <laughs> and then you just swing it right underneath this thing's chin. Oh, he's got to notice me by now, right? Like he's got to come after me. <laughs> he definitely noticed you. All right, Dave, oh. you are awake, but you are prone, which means that if you're going to move, you can only stand up. That has to be your move action. I feel like I should just... Stay sitting, or you can also just sit sit on the laying. ground where you are if you want. <laughs> no, I'm going to stand up. It feels like because then next turn I would be allowed to run or something if I want to. Right? That's the whole idea. There's nothing more Dave the Dragonborn than Dave <laughs> sitting like the fat kid who just got out and dodged ball and being like, "I'm actually going to stay here for a second. Okay. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that. I feel like it's a little bit subtle. This flesh thing is going to be like, it's just a dude sitting there. He's fine." <laughs> So, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Do it. What level? It's the best one. I don't know. Second level. Yeah, it's, it's second, second level. level. Uh, again, well, describe to me again why I would ever choose the less impressive version of this. Because you only have a certain amount of spell slots. Yeah. Wait, it use, wait I can oh, wait. cast like Actually, a certain wait, number of you... second level spells and then on top of that, oh, a certain no, no, number no, no, of first no, levels. Not, because you're, you know what? Because you're a warlock, you would never, never want to cast anything but the, the best. That's true. Because you only have two spell slots. Okay, so there's no reason for me to ever do that. Yeah. Yeah, got Gosh. it. So I'm not doing that. Got it. Right. Instead, I'm doing the good version good. of my spell. I create <laughs> three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. I hurl them at one target or several. I'm going to use all three at the bad guy. Range spell attack for each ray on a hit. 2d6 fire damage. Roll that 3d20 <laughs> for me. So I, I roll a d20 three times in a row. Correct. Got it. That's a one. That's a 19. Nice. A miss. A hit. 
and a one. Really? <laughs> so <Jesus>. two. So <laughs> because you're sitting on the ground, two rays go <laughs> spew out, but the third one hits him right center mass. Roll 2d6 for me. Don't, don't forget to make stones or bread next. I have stones already in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> They're floating around. Make more. For anybody. Three and three. Twelve damage. Oh, yeah. They're fire damage, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Crazy as it is, this single ray of fire burns up through the center of this creature. It lets out one final roar and falls dead to the ground. Oh, yeah. And as its body hits the ground, the gymnasium around you dissolves. And you see that you're back in the main hall. And people are clapping and cheering, shooting green sparks into the air. And I'm just sitting there like the fat kid who <laughs> got yeah. out of With stones in your pants. Yeah. <laughs> and a bitch is looking very, very unhappy. And I'm going to go, yeah, Dave, he's my friend that I've fought alongside. Most of the time I take out the bad guys, but this time he did. <laughs> Sometimes we have to let each other do it, too. Well done, though. Yeah. Thank you. Proceeding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.